Hello and welcome to A4 and The Kid. And today, what are we reviewing today, kid? The Lego Lego store. The Lego Lego store, which is this one here. There's the instruction manual, fairly standard fare for that. It's set 40574. Guess what it came in? What? A box! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I know. Another box to add to the collection of boxes. Oh, I see. We only have like two billion. I soon we'll be able to build the life-size fort we've always dreamed of. Yeah. So yeah, box, there we go. Um, standard for Lego there. Yeah. Um, so, we're over to you, kid. This is a very nice Lego store. It's got two floors, which is good. On the... Well, this comes off nicely, which is good. Just come around the front of the camera here so I can show you what's on the inside. So from the outside, it looks good with... The castle, I think that's the new castle which has just come out. I think so, the 19th anniversary one. Yep. Representation and then you've got the train in there, which is Classic cool. Classic Lego steam train. Yeah. You've got here some Lego sets, and you've got like a kind of build your own minifig here, minifigure factory, which is nice. My problem though, I mean it's not a massive problem for me, but for people who do not like stickers, maybe this isn't for you. Because every single thing which has detail on, even the boxes here are stickers. So you might, I don't know. I think I personally was okay with that. I kind of enjoyed putting them on, but. You've yeah, done a good job of putting them on there. there, that's for sure. Thanks. And then. But yes, I can appreciate if you don't like stickers. Are it's... there any are there any prints at all in this set? Nope. All stickers? Yeah. Wow, even the Lego logo. That's a sticker. That's a shame. There we go. Fair enough, so you've got your two floors, do you want to show what's yep. inside the second floor there? Just hold it up to the camera so people can get a good look. Hold so on the inside sturdy. here, you have got like a um, kind of mini fig kind of statue thing, like almost a special edition. Here you've got a pick a brick, which is nice. You've got a sticker there to um, tell you that. In here, nice, nice flooring. You've got like the till where the kind of person would stand. Do you get a Lego employee? No, you don't. No. Oh, you always get a Lego employee with a Lego logo. That's a shame. That's a disappointment. Sorry. Oh, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got some sets here. More sets. I think, I mean, obviously you don't want too much to explore, but it's not m many Lego sets if it's a Lego store, really. I suppose so, but it's just a representation, yeah, I, I guess. guess. She's not going to have too many. I think there's enough stickers in there as it is, if they're all stickers. Yeah. It's, it's, it's enough to represent, you know, a small scale store. Yeah. Like You've kind of like got a tiger sticker here and a giraffe. I originally wondered what the heck are these for? They're actually for, like, this kid here to, if he will cooperate, stand <laughs> on here. And it kind of looks like he's got uh, the tiger's got a human head, which is pretty cool. It's the kind of comical yeah. stands you get, so you can. It's one way of doing it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's we've got so a bit of got... pavement at the front there, which is nice. I like the pillars. Nice. Good pillars. A couple of plants. Um, yeah, a couple of plants. A bit of greenery. Yeah. But I was thinking. If you want to put this on your Lego display with like buildings either side, it would look a bit strange because one, it doesn't have a roof. I mean, yeah. it's fairly easy to rig up a roof for this, so that's what I'm gonna do. When like, you know. What well, is there anything else that this does then that you want to yeah, come around and shuts, show us? Yeah, this shuts. That's what I was gonna tell you. So this shuts. So like, Just make it's sure that not people so. People can see. Come on this side, kid. So that it's not so. Side, can't you? These sides open up. Yep. And then they shut. So like, if you want it like that and you have buildings on either side, it kind of looks strange just like having nothing kind of like above it. So you can shut these up and then um, it's also like not so bad when you're looking no, in there. So you can make it look a little bit more substantial by opening yeah. those up. You can close it around at the back but it's still fairly open yeah. even with those closed up. Fairly There's easy no... to rig up roofs and stuff though. So. Yeah, I suppose so but... <sighs> What do we say? Lego's expensive, we know this. £30, I suppose they're trying to give you a decent representation, concentrate on the details inside, so you can put it on a shelf and people go, oh, you got a little Lego store. 
I think in terms of putting it in a city itself, you'd have to do quite a lot of customization to make this work because there's no roof, is there? It's half the building, the, the first floor is missing at the back and there's no roof. Obviously, if they did that, then the cost is going to go up. So I suppose they've looked at the price point and thought, what can we do for that? <sighs> you know, you get what you get, but it does seem unfinished. And that's not the first time we said that with a Lego set lately, is it? But unfinished. you could kind of like, Lego could have just put like some kind of thing on top of there and slank on top of there. Couple you don't necessarily, yeah. it'd be cool if, if it extended. Even, even this, if it just had this top section yeah. covered up here with a, with a, with a big, big plate nice. or two and a little bit of tiling detail, that then you could almost forgive the back because at least if you had this in the city, it's got yeah, a little bit of a roof to it. It, yeah, it really that. does need something here. But then it gives you good access to play inside, it I does. suppose. I think this but is more food stuff, plagues so like. You can get I can't your believe hands it doesn't come with a Lego employee. <laughs> that's, that's, that seems crazy to me. So they've obviously got your two minifigs that you've got there, and you know, and you also so you've got some alternative faces. So that's that's the mum laughing when the kid goes, "I want that Ultra Collector Series Star Destroyer, Mummy." And she goes, ah. <laughs> "No, <Jones. laughs> The kid, the kid doesn't have an alternate. No face alternate face for the kid. Yeah. It's just got the short, non-bendy legs. Yeah. So you can see those just in there. But that that's it for minifigs, is it? Do you get any more? No, that's it. Just the two, so you don't get any more. That's a cool or... look, though. Like, if that's on a shelf, that would be a cool look. So it kind of looks like the Lego store kind of curves yeah. around and maybe like does that. It would make it look like a big Lego store. Fair enough. So yeah, overall it's cool. summary, yeah. then. What, I think what it's do you good. Think? Build experience, good? The build experience. You sit down, watch some cheesy cartoons or something, or if you're an adult, watch some cheesy Christmas movies. Um, <laughs> or some cheesy cartoons. <laughs> it's cheesy a... Christmas movies, that's, that's a little dig at me, that is. I love a good cheesy Christmas film. It's a fun build. It kind of takes you a little bit longer than you think it does. If you kind of like build like two bags, have a break, build another two bags. It's good fun building this. The floor's good fun. Build, it's a bit of detail. It's a variety. It's, yeah, it's, it's got the ladder there, isn't it, to get up to the top floor? I mean, I think it's a good build. It's a representation of, of a way to get up there, which Lego don't often do, so it's better than nothing, but a bit, a bit difficult to be build. climbing up a ladder to get upstairs. But you've got quite a bit of space in there to put some mini yeah, figs, haven't you? Just assume you don't have. Some there's no studs. Yeah, studs there. There's studs there's behind the cash register. I guess if you only get the, the two figures with it, you're kind of suggesting that one of these is going to be the employee, or it's like a zombie apocalypse and you know <laughs> the world's ended. And rather than going to the you know supermarkets and taking the final supplies there, they're thinking, hang on, people are wanting water and food, but nobody's going to be thinking about the Lego shop. Now's our chance. Get to the Lego shop. It's empty. Fill your boots. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I can appreciate it. it's a good little play set, looks pretty good, you know what it is, the representations of the sets are nice, loads of stickers, some are quite big, if you're, if you're a kid, not too bad to that's fall, not though. as good, yeah, but some people the might not. The big ones are a bit annoying, the little ones though, if you take a little bit of time and care, you can sure. get them on pretty well. And that's kind of part and parcel of building yeah. Lego sets, I suppose, but I just think if you're a younger kid, you'd probably be okay with the build, but the stickers might be a bit of a... A challenge because there's a lot of them. I think maybe the reason why there's no roof is maybe like they want to shove off the interior a bit. Like I get that it's, it's a little it's a little play set to go up on a shelf. But I just think if you're kind be of nice thinking, to have a roof there. I want a Lego store well. to go in my Lego Which city. Which is what we were thinking. It, it's kind of lacking a roof, so you might have to do something. And and it is definitely lacking a minifig. You need a Lego employee in there. I can't believe there isn't one. Um, so that's, that's a shame, but it looks nice, the colour's good, you get a reasonable amount of stuff for your money, too many figs. The Lego box says it's kind of like, looks best if it's like that, yeah. but really, I think it looks really good like that, because you can still see all the pick a brick and stuff and everything you want to, mm. yeah, so it's pretty bad. good. But it, it's just, um, this feels a little bit unfinished to me. That is, yeah. Anyway, that's our thoughts and our review yeah. on the Lego Lego, Lego, the Lego, the, the Lego, the Lego store, Lego store. the Lego Lego store. Bit of a tongue twister almost. Yeah, it is a little bit. But um, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, what do you think of this set? Is it one on your list to purchase? 
or do you agree with us that it's a little bit unfinished but on the whole this is a nice representation of a lego store in general yeah. um if you're prepared to do a little bit of customization on it then you can fit it into your city and it will look quite good i think yeah so thanks for watching and uh, we've been Aphil and the kid and we'll see you again soon for more lego reviews news and uh anything else we decide to talk about yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember to subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification so you can yeah. be notified when we do more videos which we will yeah. soon thanks very much bye, bye.